you know, some of the life extension things on the human side I've heard have been linked to its ability to prevent certain cancers. Yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah. And that's one thing like mice don't get human types of, I mean, humans get lymphomas and, and leukemias, but the majority of human cancers are, are what's called epithelial based cancers, not blood based cancers. They're epithelial based cancers, meaning they're like solid tumors, you know, prostate mm -hmm. cancer, liver cancer, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, right? You know, these, these are all solid tumors. Some of the human studies, which is what you just brought up, I mean, that's, that's kind of like getting to the human data is what's really important. But I wanted to mention that animal study data because it's the variable effects on, you know, depending on gender and dose and time of administration. I think that's all important stuff to like consider, right? Mm -hmm. And we don't really know why, honestly, why, why the male mice are so like uh, sensitive to dose in terms of like their, their lifespan effects. But um to the cancer note that you mentioned, um, that's also, that's been pretty interesting. There's been a lot of different perspective studies showing that metformin reduces cancer incidence and mortality among type two people with type two diabetes, right? You know, so that's important to also consider. This isn't like, these aren't like healthy people, you know, type two diabetes also increases cancer incidence, right? So the fact that you can find meta-analyses showing that metformin reduces overall cancer incidence by like 30% or cancer death by 35% or something like that is not that surprising, right? You're talking about people with type 2 diabetes when they're taking, so compared to people with type 2 diabetes that are not taking metformin, they're going to have a higher cancer incidence. Dysregulated glucose metabolism and all that stuff has been shown to play a role in cancer. 